Hi guys, welcome back to another video, it is Zornite here, and welcome back to the free build mode, my series of where I mess around with PC cases and mess around in PC building simulator with some of the cooler cases and some of the cooler physics. Um, last episode, we finished off the Elite Hyper Beast build, which is awesome. Um, it runs like a champ, and it has a higher basic bench test than my most expensive build. I'm gonna eat that down there. And today we're being we're gonna do big chungus. Or well, well, we were gonna do big chungus, but now, but after this, I've decided I feel like this is the finale build. Like I keep postponing this for certain reasons stuff. I want to move on to this thing. But I also want to do the bench test, so I'm doing the bench test first, then I'm doing this, and this being the NYX Pro, and then I'm doing the big chungus at the end. So let's get right on to this. Now this is a bench test, this is what you build on when you're just testing stuff. Um, so let's just get straight into it. And I think we should actually not see if you process for a sec. Okay, so a thread ripper is an STX STRX4. So that's what I need to look for an STRX4. Boom. These are STRX. Well, these two are STRX4s. And so is this one. Okay, well, I think we're going to use this one. It looks the most professional and it also has a built in fan. I guess they all do, but this one looks the best. The MSI Creator TRX40. So we're going to be using that one. We're going to start right there. Boomski. That looks awesome. I haven't done anything with a thread ripper yet. This is gonna be the first one that I do a thread ripper on. And just by looking at general written, that's a 3960, that's a 3970, and that's a 3990. 64 cores, that's the most cores I've had in any PC yet. This is probably gonna be the most expensive PC in its bench test. It's also probably gonna be the best. Now the only problem is more cores higher frequency, but I think the more cores is better. CPU shield. And the CPU shield. Oh my god, that's so fancy. So elegant. <laughs> okay. I can already see that it has M.2 written on it. That also has M.2 written on it, so let's install some M.2 uh, no, storage. That's the 2TB M.2, that's what I normally use just because um, it's just the first one that's a 2TB M.2 and there isn't really anything else in it. Plus, it's the only M.2 with 2TB that's RGB. Um, so that's why I use that. It's a two terabyte. There we go. So that there. Place the fitting. Place the screw in the M.2. 
can now close those bays over top. And this is another one which has a hell of a lot of RAM spaces in it. Install memory. Now we have got a full on cash out on this. So I'm going 32 gigs full gold on all of these. This thing is almost as expen- This is almost as expensive as my most expensive PC, and I haven't even got to graphics cards yet, or, um, or storage. Oh my god. It's more expensive than my most expensive PC now. This is insane. I should've done Threadrippers for the Beast. For the Elite Beast. Look at that, nine grand! This is my new most expensive PC now. And look at all of these bays for graphics cards. It's beautiful. It's also going to be expensive. Okay, let's get a power supply up here. Now, I need the biggest power supply I can get. I'm pretty sure there's like a 1600 watt some somewhere. 16,000 I. Or 1600 I. a 1200. I know it exists because I've used it before. 1600i. There we go. That's what I want to use. I want to use the biggest power supply we've got because we're going to need it if we're going to have four graphics cards. I also don't know how reservoirs and that are going to sit, but I want to do water cooling for this. So let's actually go have a look at what reservoirs are like. Where they actually, where do reservoirs go on this? Oh, it sits at the end. Okay, that's fine. Let's get the full RGB reservoir. I need to deal with cables straight away because this is going to become a mess real quick if I don't. We got them rainbow, rainbow cables again because they look awesome. Okay, let's go in and steer. Okay, before we do anything else, but and before I forget, thermal paste, and let's stick on a CPU block and um. So you got the XC7 RGB STR4 or the XC9 RGB STR4. And I'm guessing, because it's the, the 9, I'm guessing it's more powerful. But then there's also these. Stuff that you only get if you do the Threadripper. To be honest, this fully clear one actually looks boss. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay. Let's now go to... Um, here we go. Where do radiators go in this? That's a big question. <laughs> Where do radiators go? Ah, here. Just installs there. <laughs> Just floats, okay. This is fine. This works. This works for me. Okay, so we've got a massive radiator as well. Oh yeah, we've got to do um, power supply for that. So I can go to that one right there, so it's like the shortest cable ever. But to be honest, it's meant to be a bit messy, but also I want it to at least show up. I've got to reach far. There we go. Cables. I want you to go to the end one, just because then there's more rainbow cables, even though you did go under and then just came through the board magically. Okay. Annoyingly, with how it's designed, I don't think I can use SSDs. I think I have to use hard drives. But we'll get to that in a second. Connectors. Yeah, I'm going to use the gold fittings. And tubes are going to be clear rigid. 
And I'm not doing that yet though because I need to use GPUs. What could GPUs? There we go. Once again, torn between RGB or just glow. That's RGB and 11 gigs, so I guess that's probably the one to go for. And it's multi GPU, but it's SLI. I don't know what they are. Are they also SLI? Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the Zotac. Alright, we have to. This is long and annoying, but it's understandable. Down to the bottom all the way, that one. Install that one there. Now we can go to the bottom. Install that one there. Annoyingly, even though there's four slots, I can only fit two in. Otherwise, I'll try. But annoyingly, I can't. That's sadness. Whatever, we got a reservoir. We got a radiator. We got CPU and we got GPUs. Okay. I I just really have to know right now. Is there any case fan slots or is the case fan slots? where the radiator is. Wait. Yeah, it would be where the radiator is. Okay. Let's just try some storage real quick. Wait. PC parts. PCIe cover. You go there. Screw on. You go there and screw on. And you go there and screw on. Beautiful. Now we can do storage. I'm gonna try SSDs, but I'm like 100% sure that there's nowhere to put them. You. About hard drives. Oh yeah, no, they got slots of hard drives though. It's all good. We haven't done cables for these yet. Let's do them at the furthest back just because I want them out of the way. It's a long ass cable. Hard drives. Motherboards. Oh, that's a lot of motherboard slots. Install another one. Install. Nope. Okay, that's the maximum that you're allowed to have. Okay, awesome. Let's plug these in. That there. That there. That on the top one. That in the power supply. Install. Nope. Use the extra extra one because why not? <laughs> okay. All that's left to do is to do the pipes. I could do flexi pipes to be honest, but I just like doing the rigid. You. To you. Oh, why you like that? What do you like that for? There. That 
one lines up with that. That one lines up with that. That one lines up. Yeah, that will work for me. There we go, I can deal with that one. Um Just gonna do that because I don't know if I'll get problems with that. Go back to piping. Oh, I didn't save it. Okay, well, time to do a long redo of that because that's what it's gonna be. Why am I not just using the nope, nope, nope? Some of that. <laughs> that will do. Another pen tip. There we go. You can go on to that one. That's really, really not necessary. Right there. Right. That one can go. That one can go. That one can go. Yeah, give me a sec. If I bend out a corner like that and make a square and pull that forwards, pull that down, 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 down until it intercepts and then lift it up until it goes green and bring that straight. Ah, that lines up like almost perfect. Kaboomski. Place it. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay. You. Okay. I can see this forever becoming a problem cable managing wise. That's because that's not how that's meant to work. I think you should have realised that by now. Like so, look at that. Super clean. Where, where's the bendy point? I saw that. I saw that. Okay. Let me cancel that. I need to remove that. I've done this before. God damn it, I pressed on the wrong one. I've done this before, I can do it again. That goes to there. Done. You go to there. That is not what I would call very clean. Just have a straight up. Oh my god. I can do this quickly. And that's what I wanted to do, although I do want to... really not how I would do that. How I would do it is by making it as uniform as possible. So if that goes there, that it's 
Why not with that? like so and then I remove that stupid corner there done I now need to install some coolant and I need some UV orange Look at this thing go! It's got so far to go. I definitely needed a big tank for this. Look at that! Goes around and out, goes through there. That all lines up properly, it then goes up. And it goes down, round. Down, down there, and all the way around. Awesome. So we managed to get that all going. This thing is an absolute beast. And it's also £14,000. Like, what? I don't think there's anything else I can add. Everything is done. I've got all the graphics cards, cables, everything's done. This is just in insane it's insane is there a four by any chance I, is, I don't think there is I was just hoping because if so I could use a four which would increase the price again and like I said before I'm not purposely increasing the price I'm just saying because if it's there I might as well just use it okay I think that's good I don't know where the power button would be on this so, I'm choosing to ignore the power button, I'm just going to hit power there. The big chunks line up. I can't believe how expensive this is. This better be worth it, like, this better be a very, very quick and powerful system. I don't even need to install Will It Run, because I know it will. Look how quick these are installing. Do a restart. Once the restart is done, I can pick this thing up. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to place it down there. And I'm going to turn it on. It's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, let's get background up in here, Steam Workshop content, just go through and I don't know, that one, I don't think I've used that one yet, that's pretty cool, system info, a hell of a lot, temperatures what I want to look at, look at the temperatures, they're so low, that's what it should be, 
I don't even need will it run. Start the virus scan. Look how many files I have. None. Lighting. All. Rainbow. To a slower pace. And through your benchmark. Run it. Look at this thing. The RGB and everything. It's awesome. But look at this. I think it was at least one PC per episode. So we've already got six episodes in the bag. And we've got another... Well, three episodes, including this one. Now, as we've seen by this one, being 7,470 and having 18,000 score in the benchmark, price isn't everything. Because that one was nearly 18,000, but that one was over 18,000. Um... So, price isn't everything. It's about compatibility, design, and cooling systems and stuff like that. You really gotta think hard about it. Yep, look at that, 17,249, although the average FPS for graphics test 1 and 2 were really good. But price isn't everything, although this thing is running 16 cores on a Threadripper. That's insane. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep this out as my main PC, just because um, I, I only have two spaces left here. And I want them for the lineup of this one and this one. The big Chungus, and I don't know what to call this Bumblebee, I'm going to call it because it looks like a Transformer. So next episode we're going to be doing that. This episode has been a bit short, but that is absolutely fine. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know for sure I have. Um, don't really know what else to say other than um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to see future content by me. And um, leave comments down below on games and stuff you want me to react or play in the future. You know, I'm open for suggestions. I don't really have any real plans. So thank you guys for watching. It's been awesome playing this game. We've got two videos left and then the lineup is done unless you want more. Which if you do, go down to that comment section and you know what to do. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.